Hey you guys, hey guys. Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden and we're here to help you in your garden and today we're standing in our dahlias. Yep. Our little patch, yep. right? Yep. Today we're going to move our dahlias around a little bit because there's some fence work that needs to be done behind us here behind the camera and we need to stake our dahlias. We're going to show you how we're going to do that, especially in these grow bags. Yeah, this is these really smart fun. Pots. Yep. Yep. Yep, it's a little bit different than last year, right? So well, it's cool because a lot of you have reached out to us and you're following along with this project, right? Yep. So we want to show you guys, especially if you're growing your dahlias in the grow bags, how to do it. Yep. So we're going to yeah. show you that today. Okay, you guys, we wanted to kind of bring you on in to the dahlia patch. Um, they're doing very well in grow bags. Some of you have seen some pictures on Instagram. So as you can see, there's a variety, you know, different colors. Some of them haven't bloomed yet, but they're about to pop. Yep getting ready Good. we have some absolute favorites in the mix here um, i have to show you guys on the way in beautiful this is called gallery art deco look at those colors wow. and just the it's just so delicate oh, and beautiful man. yeah it's very vibrant oh wow. i love this one it was compact last year in our garden but um what we're noticing and which is pretty cool for this year the dahlias that we're growing in these bags are definitely a lot shorter than they were last year yep, it's that confined root space yeah. And that controls the the top of the soil growth above the ground growth too. So yeah. it's good. It's it's all good. They're they're balanced out well. They're doing all pretty healthy. So got nothing to complain about. I know, and we're liking it because we didn't have a lot of space anyway. Since we're cramming these in, in this side of my mom's yard, you can see we've got some deadheading to do. We've got some There's leaners some, too. Some they're, exploders in there. But the the stems are starting to lean, and that's yeah. why we're coming out here and we wanted to stake these and show you show you how we're staking them in these pots. I know. So we've got, um, yeah, we've got some work to do. So we definitely need to get going on this. So, so. hey guys, yeah, you can probably tell it's really bright it's out here. Bright. It's the morning, the sun is starting to really beat down. So we're trying to do this in the morning before the heat hits. So we wanted to show you real quick. Here are soft ties. These are great for tying off your plants with, for staking. It's actually wire, but it's got this rubber, um, this rubber material, material around it. And it's just awesome. This stuff, you can actually cut it. Um, to length for what you want. It's really easy to cut with. So, and we'll have a link, uh, links down below for this. Let's see, this one we have is, two different colors, yeah, we have two right? different colors. I think this one is woody. Oops, sorry, I got shaky there, guys. This, this one's called woody. And uh, this one is called just green. You can see it's green. This one's more brown, brownish wood. This one's green kind of color. Same thing, really great. They're not that expensive They're really either. not. And so. I really, I highly recommend getting one of each color because you do, you don't realize it when you're staking things, but like stems are different colors. And if you want it to blend, definitely get a brown and a green. Yep. yep. Comes in so. really handy. We've used these for so many things. And so, and we're going to cut those with our, uh, just our hand printers. Anything that usually will cut it. Uh, if you use for pruning, it'll work for this too. Yeah, guys. And, and also, um, we've got our... Um, our metal stake, there's the point right there where it's gonna go down into the soil. And then here is the top of it. And it's just um, it's just a nice coated metal stake. So, yep, that's what we're using today. So let's get to yeah, it. Yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, so first what we need to do, um, we need to move these dahlias kind of out of the way. You gotta reconfigure them because there's gonna be a lot of timber and work going on through this area. We gotta kind of open it up. Um, we don't want anything hit, you know, that type of thing, damage. So we're gonna move some of the dahlias a little bit further down that way. And we're gonna put some of them over here along the side of the garage to make sure there's a nice wide open area yeah. right here. And then after that, then we're gonna show you about staking them. So first we're gonna move these. Yeah, so, and again, I don't know if you mentioned this, but we're my mom's having some fence work done behind Sean back there. So Okay. Okay. Let's start this over here. Another small one, maybe. It's either that one, that one, or this well, one. Well, yeah, that one, I think. Yeah. Luckily, we got handles with these bags. If you're thinking about these smart pots, they're awesome, by the way. Definitely get handles. Because they yeah, offer they them are, without handles, oh, too. Oh, it's so helpful to have it these. It's a little bit more money, but so worth it. Because, I mean, we've had to move these multiple times oh, we, already. <laughs> we've moved and, these so many times. Yeah. Oh, this one is so beautiful. Love this dahlia. Foliage. So, let's see. We're going to, we can put some in here and then... We can leave some of them over there too. Yeah, oh, spider web. How yeah. cute we put an orange dahlia in an orange bag. I think we did that on purpose. I don't know if that was on purpose. I don't know. I, I think it was, a, it was a happy accident. Well, I, I like it. Yeah. So. All 
All right, guys, we got the plants moved. Now we got to stake them, right? So you can see back here, and you might have saw in the video just before this, the part of the video where we had one guy over here. If you look over here, yeah, it just started oh, yeah. coming right over. Oh, that was There's so this guy. Too, yeah, beautiful. so this definitely needs to be staked. It's just top heavy, you know? It gets top heavy. Sometimes birds will land on these guys too, and it just takes them right down. So we yep. need to stake, you know, this stem right here. I'm going to put it right down okay. there. And then uh, we've got more over here got another one well and like we had a whole grid system set up last mm. year in our beds this year we just yeah now, done it yet. now this year so see that just oh, that just yeah, topples that's... over so this year in these bags we can't put up a grid system because they need to be they need to be mobile we need to be able to move them out of the way and that's one of the benefits of having these smart pots growing in these row bags right you know especially with the handles don't forget the handles. handles um so but um in these in these bags if they were going to stay stationary and we weren't going to move them around all the time, then we could take these stakes or other larger, kind of more robust stakes and use what and do what we did last year, which is put them in around it and then create like a grid system with either nylon rope or twine or anything that'll just kind of keep them uh, upright. But we can't do that in this situation uh, because they move. So in this situation, we're going to stake these individually where it's needed in the bags themselves and they should be fine. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is uh, this is our first year growing in these, so everything's a little bit new to us. But in theory, this should work great. Again, what we're going to use are these uh, these steel stakes. They're they're powder coated, so they blend in. They're green, which is pretty cool. Yep. They got a pointy end and a top end. So I'm going to use this shorter one. I'm going to make sure this pointy end goes down. We've also got those uh, those plastic coated uh, wires uh right here we've got strips left over from last year and so what i'm going to do is, is i'm going to try and use these we've already cleaned them so they're able to be reused oh yeah they're fine so what i'm going to do is, is i'm going to try and use these they're in different lengths so but what you can do this is pretty cool what you can do is you can take these and then you just if you want to lengthen them take them like this and then just wrap them around each other you guys can see that i'm just literally twisting it around and there you go. Now we've got a much longer piece of this. We can nice. reuse these. We don't have to throw these away. So and I'll just do that again because I don't know everything I'm going to run into here. So I'd rather reuse these than... And remember, I staked one last week. There is some extra tie on that tall one right there. Oh, I see it. I, yeah. It's like way more than that's needed there. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So, let's, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. We've already got one of these metal stakes in here and it's working great for this guy. Yeah. So... I'm going to undo this, make sure I hold on to that, that stem too when I'm doing this. I'm going to restake, uh, re, yeah, I'm going to restake both of these, retie both of these further up on the stem because, because the weight's up here. Yeah, if you I go remember. too low, it can snap because, because it's not close enough for being, uh, stabilized closer to the, uh, the, the stake there. Good catch, so, honey. so, well, you know different set of eyes and all that so here so let's do this bring the one that's fallen over bring that closer cover ourselves you don't want to do these really tight because you don't want to uh you you don't want to uh, uh kind of kink these you don't want to put too much pressure on them you want them to look more natural too so try to get some slack in there if you can you can and with these wires too you can form it so it looks a lot more uh it looks a lot more natural and really what we should have done was we probably should have used that green one i was one. literally just thinking but, about it like i but that's okay couldn't find it at the time so but i'm this, like i need it but see now this but you can't all of this is being held up together by this and uh you know really if we had a shorter stake we'd use it in this one but right now this is working fine and it's kind of it's green so it blends in with stuff i anyway. know so they're probably it's all good. distracted by my mom's gorgeous old hydrangea right here Look gorgeous beautiful super beautiful okay so next up i'm gonna use we'll follow you i'm gonna use this smaller one here i think all oh, these yeah, let's are let's go over there we can show of, them the purple one well which which one did you want to show? My favorite one on the very end there that we still don't actually know what it's called. Oh, this it guy. came in a mix of um, so. five beautiful, huge dinner plate bulbs from Eden Brothers. You no, know, yeah, it is gorgeous. Here. Oh my god, it was so, so much bigger last year too. So now another pointer for this guys is when you stick this down in here. Remember, there's bulb. There's a bulb down here. There's a tuberous root down here. So you don't want to stick this through that. So you got to be off to the side. You can't be right up next no. to the stem. So if I do this. 
what I'll do is I'll go in here and I'll say, I'm going to put you right here. I'm going to put, so see, here's our, here's all of our stems in right here. Chances are that tuberous roots in, in this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out to this area and push down, try, try and push down, but go slow enough. So if you hit something or something's there, it's blocking you, don't push all the way through it because you don't want to damage that, that root, right? So, okay. Oh, you said root, not root. Oh, yeah. Yeah, been getting a lot of comments about that lately. So uh, I guess I just say it differently. Some people Roots. had a problem with that. I don't even hear it because, yeah. I don't know, potato, I, potato. Yeah, right. I think it's hilarious. People have been really, we've gotten a couple yeah. interesting comments lately about the way Sean says that. And they're kind of rude. We just deleted their comments, you guys, because we don't want that kind of negativity <laughs> on our website, or our, on our YouTube channel. Get a kick out of it. So, okay. uh, by the way, so getting back to business. I know, this, sorry, this, I'm off topic. Uh, no, it's okay. This is going to be too short to encompass all of these huge balloons that are really heavy. So um, we can try and use this for part of this. And what I'm gonna do is, yeah, I'm gonna go up high. Again, this is the brown one, but that's okay. And let's get these a little bit closer to each other here. I have a hort question for you when you're done with that, honey. Okay. Just a minute. Okay, go ahead. So horticultural question for Sean. Down here, why, so we have a ton of, and I probably already know the answer, but people might be wondering, why are there so many just dried out, kind of brown looking yeah, it's a good. Down there? No, that's a good question. Um, what's going on is, um, from what I can see here, the soil's not dried. There's plenty of water um, in the soil. These are well hydrated, you can tell, because the leaves aren't drooping. There's, there's, there's nothing to indicate really that the plant's lacking any water or it's too much water. What's going on here? These are just older leaves that aren't getting a lot of sun or enough That's sun. That's what I figured. So they're just dying off because the plant doesn't want to put resources into leaves that aren't going to actually photosynthesize and be efficient. So it just literally just lets those die and takes all the resources and brings them back up to the top of the plant. Okay. And that's perfectly fine. If you do see this, we, we should probably remove these so they don't harbor any insects or diseases because we can get powdery mildew um, on these dahlias. They are susceptible to that. We It will get on these leaves and we don't want this to harbor that because last year we did have a lot of that at the end of the season. So, um, yeah, so we'll come in and we'll we'll cut those cut out. Those off. But yeah, okay. don't don't be alarmed if you see this down below. If the rest of the plant's looking good and um, it's not drooping or there's nothing else going on, don't let this bother you. I'm this so is glad you answered that. Because so. you know me, I am a bit of a dahlia alarmist. Yes, but that's good because we really we care about our we do. dahlias. Hold on. So I'm distracted for a second by this. Uh, so let's do this. Okay. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, where are we going next? Okay, so well, what I'm oh, going to do done. is, because I'm not done over here, so I wanted to go and get some more of our uh, tie-off material here. Here's the green one. I'm going to unwrap this. I'm going to show you. So it comes right off. comes in these neat little rolls. Pretty cool. Easy to store, too. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take this, and let's see, where was that one? That one's encompassing that. So I'm going to take this, kind of come up here. I'm going to fit this as best I can. There. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yep. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna bring this in, and then bring that around. I'm gonna try and get it kind of snug, but not too snug. I'm gonna do this. So here we go. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna cut it right there. I just fitted this. Let's just fit it here. Just take your snips here, if you want. Just cut it. That's all there is to it. And what I did is on these snips, there's a little notch at the end of the blade right there. Perfect for cutting this, because you can see it just gets right in there. See how that fits there? And then it just, it just cuts it. Nice. So here, so here I'll show you, so watch. Cool. There you go, it just cuts them. So yeah, these Coronas, not all the Coronas I think have this, but um, the ones that do works really great. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do is, is just take this, I'm gonna match those up, do that, bring that down. Just do that real quick so that kind of stabilizes that. You can see I made I made pretty much all of my, um, not all of them, but some of them, uh, the twist ties and stuff, they're kind of hidden over by this stake because what I'm gonna do is, if you take a step back there. Oh, but I'll, we can't, we have to be close. Well, hold on, hold on, just take a step back. So I'm gonna turn it around. Oh, so beautiful. And so what you're gonna see now, after I staked it, is you take a step back and you look at it, now you can barely see the stake, 
and you don't see yeah. any of the tie-offs. I don't see any of them. I have to actually really look. Yep. So about, can you guys see them? So we, we've we've hidden the twist ties and we've hidden the stake. Looks like it's just standing up on its own and it's looking awesome. Nice job. So, so okay. So there's one. Okay, well. So let's get to it and get some others done. These guys do not need to be staked. They're nice and compact, which we're really happy about. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Look at the Oh my gosh, this foliage is so, so Gorgeous. different. Right? I forgot the name of this one. I always know it. Let's find it here. Oh, Waltzing Matilda. Waltzing Matilda. This is from, um, all of our bulbs came from Eden Brothers. Um, let's see, this is a beautiful, oh, I just love having around. Okay. Distracted, but here we are. Hey, okay. it's easy to get distracted in the garden. We have a lot so, of deadheading to do. I'm gonna yeah. take care of that when you start saking. So I'm gonna do this. There we go. Okay, that one's in there. I think we're gonna do this one too. So you're kind of marking the ones you want to. Yeah, I'm take set. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna set all these uh, stakes. Just make sure I'm not hitting those, those, uh, the tubers underneath there. Just get those set. And you can tell, you know, when you're putting these in, you can tell if you hit something. It's just there's a lot of resistance, so it's easy just to pick it up, find a different spot, kind of close by in the pot and then try and push down there and just keep going until you don't find that resistance because the last thing you want to do is mess up the bulbs and damage the bulbs underneath the ground so because that can lead no, to a whole bunch of other problems want to do that yeah so all right what's going on back here you got some good stuff this is here. my sister's favorite dahlia it's called uh which one? Oh, irish pinwheel irish pinwheel yep look how beautiful that is they kind of kind of curves backwards this one's okay this this is poo isn't it uh that poo? is poo? not poo it's not I'm, poo again where's poo poo is right back here poo needs to be stayed oh poo oh well, i got i oh, gotta got stay yeah i gotta stay this sorry guys is Hold this on. another irish this poo? is poo oh poo is so cute i love that one that's one of our favorites oh poo okay so there's that what is that one bonanza oh bonanza bonanza gosh you move these out of the i used to know these all by heart and now that we've moved them all it's just chaos that's okay that's okay Makes it fun. It does. Makes Very you feel fun. alive. <laughs> All right. So here we go. All right. So um, while Sean is going to get this going and get these all wrapped up, I'm going to do some deadheading. So let's get to it. Here. So these bags are just working really well overall. I'm yeah. I'm so happy with these this year. Yep. Yep. And the links down below if you want to check them out. In any color, look at we've got purple. There's blue. Sorry, I don't know if we showed this yet. No. We've bought the brown ones. Um, Smart Pots did um, supply the blue, the orange, and then the purple that you saw over here. So they supported this project, um, and then we bought the brown ones. So they've all been they're all seven gallon um, grow bags with handles. Okay, you guys, what do you think? You think that'll work? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think it will work really well. Yeah, I think so, so too. Yep. Glad we got that so, done. Yeah, so, you know, if you have any comments or questions about what you saw here today, let us know down below. We love hearing from you. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, too, if you haven't already, so you get updates on our latest videos. Yes, and if you're wondering how we planted these or you're curious about, you know, following along with this project a little more, um, check out our previous video, Planting 25 Dahlias in Grow Bags, and we'll show you exactly how we got these planted. Yeah, and we'll have a link down below, too, yeah, just in totally. case. Yeah, so until then, guys, uh, we'll see you later. Yeah, th thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.